I can't wait to turn another page and follow you a thousand miles. In this world, things will change, but you remain a sinner stage, a sacred place. Welcome to Lucy and Jason's wedding, part two. The one that almost got away. After a delay of more than a year, and despite the best efforts of COVID, it's finally here. And I'm sure you will agree that it has been well worth the wait. I love you. I love your positivity and your ability to find happiness and enjoyment out of all the smallest thing and also how you've taught me to do the same. I love how caring you are for me, your friends and family and for Reggie. You would do anything for those you love and we're all, all the better for that. I promise to do everything to make you always know how amazing you really are. I promise any time you miss one of my great jokes, I'll repeat it over and over so you get to enjoy it. <laughs> and most of all, I promise to do everything I can to always keep a smile on your face. I love you and I like you. I promise to let you do the lion's share of the cooking to give you the chance to remind me why I could never let you go. With you, I couldn't wish for anything more, and although it pains me to say, you're pretty perfect. To some, our lives may look pretty unspectacular, but every day I wake up with you and Reggie, I feel like I've won the lottery. I love you, and I like you. You're my best friend. The end. Lucy and Jason, I ask you now to formally accept each other as husband and wife. Jason. Do you take Lucy to be your wedded wife for as long as you both shall live? I do. Lucy, do you take Jason to be your wedded husband for as long as you both shall live? Yeah, I do. Perfect. Please give a rousing ovation as I present to you our wonderful newlyweds, Lucy and Jason. <laughs> Thank you.